Good afternoon and welcome to the last week of the Lenten season. This week that is known as Holy Week. As we journey with Christ to the cross and celebrate on Easter, his resurrection from the dead. Today I'd like to share with you a passage as we finish up this theme of trusting in God. It comes from the Gospel of John in the 10th chapter, verses 27 through 30. And Jesus is speaking to an assembly of disciples and other followers and using the parable of a good shepherd. And he says, My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the hand of the Father. I and the Father are one. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus is the Good Shepherd, and we as the sheep of His flock can always feel safe in His hand that no matter what's going on, no matter how much turmoil may be around you. Maybe it's in your family. Sometimes there's brokenness in the relationships. Sometimes it's on the job and the stress that goes with maintaining the job. And then sometimes we're overwhelmed by circumstances within the community and within the world that we can't do anything about, but yet they all affect us negatively. But we got to remember that Jesus reminds us that he is the good shepherd. And the Lord has placed him, placed us, in his hands, we are in his hands, and absolutely no one can pluck us out of his hand. It reminds me of an um, old uh, gospel song that says, Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. No, absolutely no one can do for us what the good shepherd does for us. He provides for us. He cares for us. He heals us. He comforts us. He's our all in all. He is everything to us. So no, no one can take us away from that all-consuming power, which is known as his love. You can trust Jesus. Because Jesus has more than just your back. He has your top, your bottom, your front, and your back. He has you completely covered. So you can trust Jesus. And when you're trusting Jesus, you're also trusting God. For Jesus reminds us that he and God are one. We are the sheep of his pastors. And absolutely no one can pluck us out of his hand. So let us trust God. It's his voice we should be listening to. And sometimes when we're not sure, I say, just surrender to his will and say, Lord, please show me the light if I'm stumbling in the darkness. So let us remember, he is ours and we are his. I love the words of uh, a song that's called In Christ Alone. It uses these words to talk about being plucked, not being able to be plucked from Jesus' sin. So we are his. And he is ours. From life's first cry to our final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand. Here in the Christ, till he calls, I'm sorry, till he returns or calls me his own. Here in the power of Christ, I stand. We stand in the power of Christ who has the power to hold and keep us in his hand and protect us in the midst of all of life's storms. So let us remember that we can trust him. And absolutely nobody can break that hold that he has of us, has on us in the hollow of his hand. Amen. Let us pray. Christ.
Gracious God, hold us in the hollow of your hand. Through the power of the Holy Spirit and the embody, abiding of Jesus Christ within our hearts and soul. We know that you are able to keep us, so we trust you and lean and depend upon you, knowing no matter what happens in life, no matter how far we may fall, you are able to lift us up and place our feet on solid ground because you hold us with your holiday hand and absolutely no one can take us from your love. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me in this last Lenten reflection. I appreciate you journeying with me through this Lenten season. As we go into Holy Week here at Aldersgate, we will have a Good Friday service, which will be a tenebrae, which is a service of shadows, which will be held at 6 o'clock in our sanctuary. So we invite you to come and be with us. And if you're unable to be with us, it will also be recorded uh, live stream, so you will be able to see it. Uh, also to remind you that Easter Sunday will be sunrise service and we will gather and celebrate the resurrection day at 7 o'clock in the morning. So please come and, and be prepared to worship with your whole heart and give praise to God for the resurrection day. So thank you. May God bless you and keep you.